Alrighty guys, Mrs. Cameron here. We are on page 15 of our yellow packet, which is our Algebra 1 um, EOC Best Standards Test Prep Packet. And number 30 says, your friend's height for the first 10 years of life can be modeled with the function below where t is the time in years since your friend was born and h is the height in inches. h equals negative 2 tenths times t squared plus 6.9 times t plus 16. What was the average rate of change in inches per year from year four to nine? So in order to solve this here, our average rate of change is asking about um, rate of change, rate of change. Who remembers rate of change? It's like another way to say the slope. So if we can find our change in Y, over change in X, for our slope when he's four years old, to nine years old, then we can say, okay, how much was the average over those four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, over those five years? So, to find the T, that's really easy. That's our, the T is like our X values, right? And H is like our Y values, because that's like our S of X, and that's our X's, and this is like our Y. Okay, so to find the X's, super easy, because we want 4 and 9. And then to find the Y's, that's, that's going to make this kind of look like a mess. So let me erase this. And... Let's go calming blue, and then maybe I won't think it looks so messy. So change in Y. In order to do that, right, I'm going to plug in a 9 for my X or a 9 for my T over a 4 for my T. So this first little part... Here, I've got zero and two tenths times nine squared plus six and nine tenths times nine plus 16. Got to do all that and then subtract. Oh, my goodness. The same thing, but instead of plugging in the 9 for the T, we're going to plug in the 4 for the T. So 0, negative 0 0.2 times 4 squared plus 6 and 9 tenths times 4 plus 16. And then... Um, when you put this in on the calculator, this front piece here, you should get about, so this will be a wiggly equal sign, you should get about 61 and 9 tenths. And when you put the second piece inside these uh, brackets here into your calculator, you should get about 40 and four tenths, and then of course, nine minus four on the bottom is five. And then when you subtract this, 
and then divide it by five on your calculator, you should get about 4.3. So the average rate of change in inches each year between ages four and nine is about four and three tenths inches. per year. And checking the answer key, this is a correct answer. So we're, we're finished with this question. And if you want to practice um, something similar to this, uh, these word problems in IXL, I'll recommend lesson T79. And I hope this helps. And gets you ready for your algebra and, of course, exam. And now, number 31 is asking, which expressions are equivalent to 8 to the power of 1, 6? Um, so, 8 to the power of 1, 6. What that means is this right here. Uh, right? Because when you're normally thinking about the square root, right? Like if you had 3, the square root of 3, it has an invisible 2 here, and that's equal to 3 to the power of one half. So if we can remember this, then we know that this right here is equivalent. And now if we look at this one, that would be equal to 8 to the power of 6 over 2. So that's not the same as 1 6. That'd be like probably way more. And this one would be like 8 and then the sixth root of 8. So that would be this, but then times 8. So no, that's not it. Um, this one right here, and this one right here, 64 to the power of a third, and 8 to the power of a negative a half. I know that 64 is 8 times 8. So 64 is equal to 8 squared. 64 is equal to 8 squared. So that's 8 squared to the power of 1 third times 8 to the negative a half. Um, we can multiply this right here. That's 8 to the power of 2 thirds times 8 to the power of negative a half. And when you are multiplying variables, um, for your exponent, you can just add them. So this is like 8 to the power of 2 thirds minus a half, which if we rewrite this with um, common denominators, I'm going to use different colors over here, um, 2 thirds minus a half. 
and I'm going to put on my very best fifth grade hat here, and I'm going to say, okay, in order for me to subtract these fractions, they have to have the same denominator. So to find out what my denominator is, I can just multiply 2 times 3 to give me a new denominator of 6. Because 2 times 3 is 6. And now 3 turns to 6. That was 3 times 2. So if I multiply the bottom by 2, then on the top I have to multiply by 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And my fraction, that's equal to a half. That's 6. So 2 turns to 6. I multiply by 3. So 1 times 3 is 3. And 4 minus 3 is 1 6. So all this is equal to 8 to the power of 1 6. So this big old mess right here is equivalent to 8 to the power of a 6. And then if I look right here, and I look right here, this was a step in my mess right here. So this is also equivalent to 8 to the power of 1 6. And if you need some more practice working with um, radicals and exponents, I'm going to recommend lesson PQH as well as lesson YG7. That's two lessons on IXL to give you some practice with, uh, with these standards and to get you ready for your algebra EOC. And continuing on this page, we just have two more questions on this page. Um, number 32, write an equation in of the line that passes through the points on the table. So they gave us some points. They didn't tell us the slope. I can write a for, uh, uh, an equation in slope intercept format though, y equals mx plus b, and they also did not give us a y intercept, but I can find it really quick. 16 minus 4 is 12, minus 4 is 8, minus 4 is 4, minus 4 is 0. And 7 minus 2 is 5, minus 2 is 3, minus 1 is, I mean, minus 2 is 1, minus 2 is negative 1. So I've got a, I've got a, um, y intercept when x is 0, y is negative 1 by looking at the pattern. And the slope, I can see change in y over change in x. So if I pick these y's, 3 and 1, so 3 minus 1, then I have to pick the corresponding x values. So 8 minus 4, 8 minus 4 equals 3 minus 1 is 2, and 8 minus 4 is 4. So my slope is a half. My y-intercept is negative 1, so I can plug those in for m and b into my equation. So y equals, instead of m, I'm going to write a half x plus b, I'm going to write negative 1, so I lied, not plus, minus one. And I've got my equation. And for you to practice this standard on IXL, the lesson is S S E. And I hope you find that helpful. I hope this um, explanation helps you as well. And now for the last question on this page, we've got 
graph. Y minus 4 is less than or equal to negative 2 times x plus 1. And this, they gave it to you in the format of y minus y1 less than, I mean, really equal to whatever, negative 2, or sorry, that's m, m times x minus x1. So I know my slope. And I know a point, this is the point slope formula. Um, and on your reference sheet, this is the third equation under forms of linear equations. So I know my point is uh, x, it's supposed to be minus x, they put plus x, but the opposite is minus 1, and my y is 4. I know negative 1, 4 is a point on my graph, and I know my slope is negative 2 over 1, so I can just graph this, and then I can um, use this for my, for my slope to, to graph my linear equation, but then it's not an equation, actually, it's an inequality. So instead of drawing a straight line, right, I'm going to draw a uh, dotted line because when my inequality says uh, less than or if it says greater than it gets a dotted line and if it's less than or equal to or greater than or equal to then I would graph with a solid line and because it's less than I would shade um, below my dotted line so, first of all, I'm going to get my point on the graph. There's my x-axis. And my y-axis. And that green is really nice. I'll just give that a go. And I need a point at negative 1. So negative 1 up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And my slope is negative 2 over 1. So I'm going to go down 2 over 1. Down 2 over 1. Down 2 over 1. Down 2 over 1. and draw a straight as I can go dotted line through those points. Sorry if my line looks like a piece of broken spaghetti, but it is what it is. It ain't what it ain't, and it ain't so pretty, but I think you can still get the point. And since it's less than, we got a shade below our graph. So anything below that dotted line is a um, solution to our um, inequality. Okay, and um, to practice this on IXL, Graphing inequalities, I'm going to recommend lesson H, H, P. And I hope that that is helpful to you, and I hope that you feel um, successful and prepared and ready for this algebra and, of course, exam that you have coming up. And I will see you guys on the next one.